My viewpoint regarding what's going on in Iran uh, is, for the most part, um, a minority viewpoint uh, on here. And, um, but I am getting uh, increasingly suspicious that things that are going on there are not as they seem. And evidently, uh, I'm not the only one who's starting to think so. Now, um, I'll read you an article by Paul Craig Roberts, um, who asks the question, are the Iranian election protests another U.S. orchestrated color revolution? I'll post a link to that article because it's well worth a read. A number of commentators, he says, have expressed uh, the ideal idealistic belief that the uh, purity of uh, Musavi and the westernized youth of uh, Tehran are be to be taken at face value, basically. The CIA st destabilization plan announced two years ago has somehow not contaminated unfolding events. The claim is made that Ahmadinejad stole the election because the outcome was declared too soon after the polls closed for all the votes to have been counted. However, Mousavi declared his victory several hours before the polls closed. This is classic CIA destabilization designed to discredit uh, a contrary outcome. It forces an early declaration of the vote. The longer the time interval between the preemptive declaration of victory and the announcement of the vote tally, the longer Mousavi has to create the impression that the authorities are using the time to fix the vote. It's amazing that some people are not thinking this through. Uh, I'll skip the next few paragraphs, please read them on your own. But. Um, Paul, Roberts, uh, Paul Craig Roberts goes on to say, commentators are explaining the Iran elections based on their own illusions, delusions, emotions, and vested interests. Whether or not the poll results predicting Ahmadinejad's win are sound, so far there is so far no evidence beyond surmise that the election actually was stolen. However, there are credible reports that the CIA has been working for two years to destabilize the Iranian government from within. So, um, in 2007, uh, ABC News reported that the CIA had received secret pre presidential approval under Bush to mount a covert black operation to destabilize the Iranian government. And the London Telegraph in the same year, 2007, reported exactly the same thing. Uh, Mr. Bush, <coughs> Mr. Bush has signed an official document endorsing CIA plans for a propaganda and disinformation campaign intended to destabilize and eventually topple the theocratic rule of the mullahs. And John Bolton, warmonger John Bolton, told the Telegraph as well that a U.S. military attack on Iran would be a last option after economic sanctions and att attempts to foment a popular revolution had failed. Same thing uh, goes on with Seymour Hersh. He had also reported on this and um, basically... Uh, um, Paul Craig Roberts uh, points also to another commenter named Daniel McAdams who has something very interesting to say indeed. For example, neoconservative Kenneth Timmerman wrote the day before the election that there is talk of a green revolution in Tehran. How would Timmerman have known that there was a revolution in the works before the results were even announced. And why would there be a Green Revolution prepared prior to the vote, especially if Mosavi and his supporters were as confident of victory as they claim? Timmerman goes on to write that the National Endowment for Democracy has spent millions of dollars promoting color revolutions. Some of that money appears to have made it into the hands of pro-Mosavi uh, uh, pro groups 
who have ties to non-governmental organizations outside Iran that the National Endowment for Democracy funds. Now, the irony, of course, is that Timmerman's own neocon foundation, called Foundation for Democracy, is also funded by the National Endowment for Democracy. Just another think tank uh, and fundraising organization uh, that is involved in uh, the meddling of foreign policy in other countries. It gets even better, and I may have to make this a, a two-part video here, because yesterday, Paul Wolfowitz wrote um, an op-ed piece in the Washington Post, and do you remember who Paul Wolfowitz is? Well, the guess whom Paul Wolfowitz is supporting um, uh, during uh, this crisis in Iran. So, um, I think I'll make this a two-parter because I'd like to read you uh, some of what he has to say. should be interesting.